get um, Super Nintendo games, original Xbox plus Xbox 360 games, the Halo games, they go in order, so Halo Combat Evolved, Game of the Year, original Xbox, um, Halo 3, I don't have Halo 2 in its uh, case right now, um, sorry, Halo 3, Halo 3 ODST, Halo Wars, Halo Reach, and Halo Combat Evolved Anniversary. Now, I'm waiting for Halo 4, and I heard that there was a rumor about 4, 5, and 6, and I kind of don't think that's true. Alright, getting to the point, we have, for this row, whole row of uh, PS2 games. Move my Halo collection out of the way. So, yeah, we move that out of the way. So, yeah, other than that, the Halo collection has been going a lot well right now. I have a lot of Halo games. That's all I know. I pretty much have every Halo ever made. And I was kind of surprised. I got Halo 2 from a friend. Just he didn't give me the case. So move that out of the side. This whole row right here. Oh, sorry, I moved my Super Nintendo games. Right, this whole row right here. Except for one game, is that's the Nintendo DS. All PS2 games. That one right here, that's a GameStop game. I didn't have the case for it. Alright, this top game right here, blank case, NHL time. These two games right here, Modern Warfare Mobilized, and Professional Fisherman's Tour Northern Hemisphere for Nintendo DS. And for this game right here, SmackDown vs. Rising Night. I have, I have two copies of the game actually. So, let's start out with, um,. Game number one. I'm going to remove that out of the way. So we're going to start with the Halo Collection. Because I was... Well, actually, yeah, let's start with the Halo Collection. So, look. What we got here is Halo Combat Evolved. Very good game. Very, very good. Very good game. Um, I think it was one of the best Halos I've ever played. Um, yeah, that's about it. Halo 2 was a very, very, very good game. I don't have the game with me, so I'll have to do Halo 3. The best Halo. The second best Halo I've ever played. The really good thing that they brought into this game was Forge Mode. And, um, from the looks of it, if I have played it, but the matchmaking was incredible. I loved the campaign. I really hated the Flood, though. They were very evil, evil parasites. But, um, very good game. I have to rate it, um, 9.5 out of 10 because of the, um, the, um, the Forge, like how laggy it sometimes was, and, uh, the hackers on the servers for online. I really did not like that. Now going on with Halo 3 ODST. Um, this game was very good. Um, I was kind of, like, when I heard ODST, I, I thought, oh, another Master Chief game. Turns out it's an it's an uh, ODST game because I really didn't know what Halo was at the uh, time. See, when I first played Halo, I thought Master Chief was Halo. And then sooner or later, I found out he, his name was Master Chief. So, yeah. Um, taking a look from the back. Pretty good. There's two discs. Disc 1 and disc 2. Like I said for Halo 3... Um, same thing, only I like that they brought in the, uh, maps for, uh, like, so you don't have to pay for them. What? They showed it out of the Halo 3 campaign. I mean, that was kind of stupid. Same with Halo Comedy Devolved Anniversary. You should just have the campaign. Alright. There's two discs inside of here. This one, and this two. Alright. Going on with Halo Wars. Um... I'm surprised Bungie didn't make it. It was made by um, Assemble Studios, and a lot of people, uh, uh, Ensemble, yeah, whatever, however you say it, people told me it was like a PC game because of, uh, how do you say it, the view of the game. If you look right here, that's what the the uh, screen looks like. If you're not, it's like not a first-person shooter. Surprisingly, I thought it was going to be a first-person shooter. And what a lot of people think, that's the Arbiter from Halo 3. I read a book on the Arbiter, and there's two different Arbiters. That guy, he, he dies, and 
the uh, guy from uh, Halo 2. They rip off, they, they strip him from his rank, and then give him the Arbiter's armor, and then, yeah. So, yeah, that's a, that's a whole different Arbiter, surprisingly. And, um, getting to the best game that I've ever played, other than Halo Combat Evolved, Halo Reach. Yes, the Forge in here is great. I could rate this a 10 out of 10 because of how stellar it was. Um, a very good game. Um, that's all I have to say about that game. And here's the last Halo game. I uh, The last one that was ever made right now is Halo Combat Evolved Anniversary. Didn't like the people who, make, uh, who made it, 343 Industries. I kind of was hoping Bungie would make a new game, and I kind of hate 343 Ind Industries because they are, like, taking over Bungie and stuff, and I was kind of not liking that, so, yeah, 343, let Bungie do their own stuff, don't make another Halo, it's kind of stupid, Halo is Bungie, Bungie, who is the best, made Halo, you guys can't, like, steal the name and stuff and try to make it all cool, you're hype, so, yeah, this game... Very good graphics. Uh, they kind of took some stuff out of reach and put it in here, which I didn't like. Um, let's see. Uh, I don't like, I like how they did Master Chief, but in the trailers, it didn't, Master Chief looks so stupid. Alright, starting with game number one. Madden 2002. Very good game. Uh, I like how they added a new feature. And I like how they added the Minnesota Vikings on the cover, because they're my favorite team. Next game, Man 2003. Um, very good game. Eh, Marshall Folk. I need to take him off. Uh, I like how he's stiff arming the bears because I don't like the bears. Um, they uh, added the online mode. It's pretty good. I would rate this game, hmm, most likely a 7 out of 10 because of the uh, feature sometimes. Not much features, not much stuff to do in career. But, yeah, pretty good game. So, move some stuff around. And later, I'm going to get on to my Nintendo, uh, Super Nintendo games. One, let me fix something. So, yeah. Put my camera down. And, you can see my other games for, like, the bottom view. So, yeah, YouTubers. My game collection. The next game I have is NASCAR 2001. Um, haven't played this game in a while. It's been so long. Let's take a look at the back. I like that Dale Earnhardt is in here. And I like that the, uh, they added night tracks and the graphics were pretty good. I rate this game a 9 to... Mm, actually, 8 out of 10. It was pretty good. Alright, this game, NFL Street Volume 3. Best NFL Street I've ever ten, uh, played. 10 out of 10. Next game. Madden 2005. I wrecked in this game. I mean, I did the best I could. I like that they um they added the new EA Sports Radio. I thought that was kind of cool. So, yeah, you can, like, go on, uh, well, online and connect, I guess. I think. I don't know. I, I forgot what this game is all about. But I like you can create your own fan feature. You can, like, customize your crowd. I thought that was cool. So, yeah, I like this game. Mm. Nine, and nine out of ten. Because, yeah, the online was kind of terrible. Alright, next game. MLB Slugfest Loaded. My favorite baseball game of all time. I haven't played it in a while, so, yeah. Um, just write it. Seven out of ten. Because, well, the, some of the teams were... some. Like, I didn't like that they added the fireball feature and stuff, like, where you can, like, um, what do I call it? Um, well, they get mad. I like the part where they can fight. That's kind of funny. Uh, 7 out of 10. It will be the show 2007. I haven't played it yet, so I don't know what it's like. I do know that the graphics are kind of terrible. So, yeah. Sims busting out. I have to say, this game is pretty good. Um, when I first got it, I was like, hmm, this game kind of looks terrible from the look of it. I turn it around, and I see that there's, like, naked people playing ping pong. Mm-hmm. 
they censored it out. 